California and Provence in southeastern France have a lot in common, among many other things. Climate, olive trees, citrus, herbs, and wineries, of course. Provençal olive fougasse. A cross between focaccia and flatbread, ideally designed for your outdoor parties. I have tried many fougasse recipes, but this one is by far the best. So let me grab the smallest knife I have. You got to try that. It's unbelievable. And you know, you can even slice these guys, toast it, and make crostini. <laughs> For the mixture, I'm going to start chopping some uh, fresh thyme. But you can also use rosemary or both. For the olives, you want to mix up the best black cured green and kalamata. Check them out before chopping though, to make sure no forgotten pits will be left behind. It happens, and when it does, neither your blade nor teeth will like it. Not to mention, but the addition of lemon confit to season your olives is more than welcome. Otherwise, add a couple of lemon zest. Next, the fugas dough based on my antique baguette dough recipe. Low mixing process, small amount of yeast, and long fermentation. First, I'm going to combine water and yeast. Add flour, semolina, and salt, and mix on low speed for four minutes total. As you can see, I am using the paddle attachment to mimic the commercial dough kneading machine. After two minutes though, you want to clean up the paddle attachment and scrape down the sides of the bowl and mix for two additional minutes. That's it. You should end up with an internal temperature of 28 degrees Celsius, 83 Fahrenheit. Cover and let it rest for an hour. Then I'm gonna add my olive mixture and mix for a few seconds. It doesn't matter if it's not fully incorporated. Then cover and let it rest again to ferment for another hour. <sighs> this is why I love bread. For the second punch down, I'm going to transfer uh, my fugas dough onto my work surface, degas, flatten, make a round shape, and back in the bowl. And you want to let it rest again for one more hour. So, three hours total. And then, see what happens next. The dough has doubled in size, therefore, it is time to divide it into three equal portions. Cover and let these babies to rest for 20 minutes. Then flip, deflate, and turn each round into a beautiful flat rectangle slab. One more step and you'll know what I am talking about. Place onto Baker's Kush and let proof for an hour. Pretty soon, you want to turn your oven on to 550 degrees Fahrenheit to 80 degrees Celsius with a pizza stone inside. Slash out fugas and place onto hot pizza stone. Stretch out the fugas and bake for 15 minutes. The bread has been in the oven for five minutes and I can already smell this unbelievable combination of three kinds of olives and thyme. I can tell you that my neighbors are going to show up very soon. <laughs> as soon as it comes out of the oven, brush a fair amount of olive oil. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Voila, 
to get the full recipe, go to brunoskitchen.net. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Enjoy. Wow. Wow. Wow.